Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekend energy for March the 15th through, I just stopped to look at the date, March the 15th through March the 17th, which is when the coupon below ends. So you want to get your uh, final run at this coupon so that you can get 20% off. This is a collective energy. That means it is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. What you're looking for is what strikes true in your heart. So if you would like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com, and you can use the coupon code LUCKY24. Follow the instructions at the bottom of the screen. It'll tell you what to do. So let's ramp up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness moving forward using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to create our best possible life now with intention. So let's see what the universe is working with today. Oh, nice. Nice. We've got the Knight of Wands, which is action ready to rock and roll. He's showing up to prompt you to move forward. And we've got right decisions being made by you and for you with the Libra Major Arcana Justice card. So very, very solid start as we move forward in the energy with our ability to choose the correct timing and the timing showing up at the right time to help help us just be like pushed forward. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. And we have lots of new opportunities coming in, charged energy, new, new negotiation and communication, and sometimes air travel for some folks. Very fast moving energy of the eight of rods coming in with that still moving in the right, you know, energy. Everything's being aligned for you. So. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we have some volunteers. We had two, one, a two, and a three with our underlier, <laughs> the master manifester, the magician. Your focus is required. Be in the energy of receiving what you already know is on the way. And know that it is everything is possible. Every single thing that you could possibly want is possible as long as you believe in it and you believe that you can do it. You, you have to put yourself in the equation. I want to remind everybody that. You can, you can ask for stuff and not put, you, put it as it's yours. And it'll show up and keep on driving down the street. So we, we're not trying to attract uh, things that just pass us by, right? So claim it as yours that you attract. And we, and I'm saying that because I just currently uh, had to dial in something because I was attracting money like crazy to everybody around me but me. So <laughs> I just want to say you got to claim it. Um, so here's the courage energy. My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. Exactly. When I don't hit it the first time, do you think I stop? No, I do not. I find a little nuance or a new way to do it or a way to pivot or whatever you have to do. You have to have a courageous heart. Remember, it, it is a saying and it is true. Fortune favors the brave. So courageous hearts are always the ones who go forward and, and go against the odds and end up uh, getting something that other people say is impossible. So I'm just saying, you don't have to believe what everyone else says trust and remember you're part of the equation so who can you trust if you can't trust yourself and higher divine spirit which is also you on a higher resonating frequency i set my intention and trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances there it is plain as day right in your face you are the one who's creating this so you get to have the say so of how it's going to move in the energy and how, what you're attracting Ask for help from others. This means tell people you're speaking your future into being and so they don't turn around and cancel out what you're saying. You know, when you start to talk about uh, your million dollar, million dollar life, right, your millionaire or multimillionaire life, let them know you're manifesting. 
the, the, the beautiful energy so that they're not going against you and trying to, what, what are you talking about? Did you hit the lottery? I'll, you know, let them know what you're doing and, and tell them it's, this, this is a project. I'm, I'm working on it. It's, it's an experiment. I'm seeing how, how it goes and get them on board with it. Ah, getting them on board with it. Integration. When you pull in the people around you, they help build the energy for your dream. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. In other words, just because something's going awry right now doesn't mean it's not ultimately working in your favor. What you think is meant for your for your, you know, hold up is maybe strategically moving you into some timing. Healing. Listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions, thoughts, and perceptions, which will in turn heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring right now. And so it is. We've received that energy of healing. What a beautiful energy. And I've got these sideways. We have balance, which is, <laughs> I was, I was catawampus. Balance. Difference is necessary. It's a part of human evolution, and everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle will be indistinguishable from the light that already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive light, and both are necessary. Balance is, a, is, a, is the whole key, really, truly. I was thinking about it uh, yesterday. It came to me. It's literally like you're roller skating in the dark so everything is going great when it's going great but when you hit the bumps it gets a little hairy right and that's the whole purpose of these these readings is to help you stay focused during the bumps hello removing bumps here's the ten of wands which is the energy of a breakthrough it is releasing you from the burden and lifting the struggle off your back now sometimes we get so used to the struggle, it may be a lifetime of struggle that you've gone through, it feels awkward once this comes off and you go looking for something to throw yourself up underneath again. Remember, you got to give it some time. You will acclimate. Don't immediately rush into another project once you finish this one. And I mean project as in a difficult person in your life, a difficult job or situation in your life. Take a moment and let yourself become accustomed to not having the struggle. We have the lovers, which is the balance of masculine and feminine. It's also the Gemini major arcana, and it's the energy of your soul's calling. So if you'll give yourself time to get out from underneath the, the weight of the, the eternal energy of this 3D realm and allow yourself to get into the spiritual energy, that's when you can focus and manifest. And it looks like you're about to get some information coming in because this is action happening like a lightning strike. The Knight of Swords is very fast moving and it will bring a an immediate download or a conversation, somebody reaching out to you from out of the blue. So what a beautiful energy this is. And I send you off into this weekend with wonderful creative power. And I hope you can use it to your advantage and allow yourself to focus on your best possible outcome. Many blessings to you all. I'll see you on Monday. Namaste, my friends.